Hello and welcome back to a rather interesting start to a video, but let's go ahead and give this to someone. Let's just give it to him. Whatever. Good enough. Um, this is on the southern end of the... Uh, I never remember the name of this freaking place. Lothurn's Place. He's level 40. Holy crap. Nagaron has been busy. Uh, he'll die, though, so he have to replace him with someone new. Anyway... Uh, this is the southern end of the island with Lothurn on it, the High Elven Island, uh, and we're being attacked. I have two armies down here, but one of them's not in range. Uh, I've just been passing turns, but we got attacked with the other army, uh, and it was just that army and this one, mine. Uh, so I retreated because it wasn't very much in our favor, and then he attacked again, but he attacked this army, which is apparently within range of allies. Uh, so I'm actually going to take this fight. It looks like we're being helped by yeah, Tyrion and then an Empire unit? The Emperor's Eye. I'm pretty sure this is Empire. Rather than like Bretonia or something. Uh, versus, what do they have? Black Art Corsairs, Dark Shards. The actual army itself, apart from these Black Guard of Nagaron, not very, the War Hydras too, not very intimidating, but he has a lot of Reaper Bolt Throwers. Which I am moderately alarmed about, as you may or may not know by this point. Yeah, it was Order of Lore Masters and Empire. Uh, as you may or may not know at this point, I really like Reaper Bolt Throwers. They don't do a huge amount of missile damage but they shoot quickly and they fire multiple shots every time. So they can, especially lightly armored units, they can very quickly just decimate lightly armored units, so. Also, Discord beeps, hooray! Everyone's favorite. I'm in the middle of getting messaged, so probably hear that occasionally. I don't even know if this is still recording, because it's been stuck on the load screen for a while. I assume it is, but I don't know. Let's talk on Discord while we wait. I'm being told about Oreos. Apparently someone has Oreos and is not sharing. Let me, uh, actually, while we're stuck here in the load screen, let me set Discord so it doesn't ping. So I don't confuse people with pings in the background. There we go. That may have stopped recording briefly, I don't know. We'll probably know soon. So we have reinforcements on the beach. Somehow. Oh wait, they're on boats, aren't they? That's right. That's how. So we're gonna move all of our stuff over here. It's a lovely view. Anyway, we're going to move all of our stuff over here. We're just going to set them up with a, a missile front, probably. We have way more missile units than anything else, so we'll have to work around that. But what I can do is set these grudge throwers up so that they can probably hit the enemy units wherever they happen to be. I don't know where they will be, but we'll park them over here and then we'll adjust our army in a moment. So these guys to 9, and these guys to 0, or 10, whatever. That way I can easily select them if I need to. So he put his army over there, makes sense. We're gonna actually move ourselves up a bit. And then we're gonna have to look at something here, because he put his army way in the back, even though he's the one attacking. So we're probably going to end up moving our siege equipment up. How's it going, guys? Supposedly there's water here, but if I get close to it, it disappears. Look at this fantastic run animation. Look at them go. Anyway. Apparently, by the way, you can indeed uh, advance a formation forward. Uh, I actually forgot about this feature because it's a thing that I don't really use very often. Um, see, there's the water. 
If the water's there, then these guys are actually underwater. That seems rather inconvenient. Um, it's a feature I don't use very often, but it is a thing in the game, so... That is a lot of stuff. I want these grudge throwers to be in position to fire all the way over here, because if they're going to be defensive, we're going to need that. We're also going to have to work with our allies, because if we do not, I don't think we can actually win this fight. It's reckoning. I wish you guys would move faster, but... Cut you some slack, I guess. Iron will. Lord of I don't know what Nagaron is doing, actually. They for sure appear to be setting up way in the back. Or maybe maybe they're shifting all the way around. Nope, they're moving back. Anyway, if you take a unit formation like this... Oops. How do I do it? Is it? No. There's a way to do it. How the hell do I do it? Hold on. We... I can do this too, which... I always forget that's a thing, but anyway, there's a way to do it. How do I do it? I've forgotten. I'm pretty sure you can just drag it up. Oh, that's not right. I don't know. There's a way to do it. I've apparently entirely forgotten how to do it, but there's a feature that lets you drag formations forward. One of these days, I'll remember. Possibly. Are you bombers? You are bombers. Now the Empire is a mostly cavalry faction, but he doesn't seem to have any cavalry. The elves, on the other hand, seem to have what appears to be entirely cavalry, so... Set themselves over here. Because it looks like we're probably going to have to fight something over here. By the appearance of this stuff. What is that? Dark Riders? Not really a big issue. They do have a Dreadlord, though. You guys are in position to start firing, so you will do so soon. All of you. Stop skirmishing. No. Stop, here we go. Stop skirmishing. Actually, keep skirmishing. Because we're probably going to have a weird issue with this cavalry in a second here. We're about to explode them to bits, though. Or should, anyway. Maybe not. Maybe we won't. Never mind. Oh, it looks like we did try to throw something at them, but we didn't quite make it. Help them out. Same with you. What's going on over here? Lots of things. Who are those? Eagle Claw. Same as Reaper, I think. But you guys... Yeah, you're all firing as you can. You guys are chucking your stuff at this guy, which is exactly what I want them to do, because that's a lot of burst damage on him. In a situation where he can't do much back. He is a ranged unit, but he's not going to be doing nearly as much damage. So once these guys are out of ammo, assuming he doesn't flee, which he will. He almost died, but we're not going to chase him. Turn off Skirmish, set this to a melee front, because we're going to be getting into a lot of melee here, even though we don't really have a melee front. The Allies' Lord is wounded. This is unfortunate. He probably won't come back, but if he does, we'll just have the Gyro Bombers deal with him. Anyway, let's continue moving forward in this sort of direction. I think we just... that was a chair. I think we just got hit with an Eagle Bolt through. Yeah, he's just wallowing about. Let's go over here. 
Pardon the background noise, by the way. There's probably going to be a lot of that. These guys are going to get shot to crap, by the way. In fact, we're getting shot to crap over there. But that's okay. Hey guys, it's the Gyro Bombers. We're just going to fly over a bunch of these ranged units and drop a bunch of bombs. This should do some pretty good damage. Apparently these can also melee, by the way. That seems horribly ineffective, but they can at least do something when they run out of ammo, so I guess that's that. Alright, let's fall back. He did actually come back. Rather strange of him, but he did. Let's move my leader over there. This is the problem with not really having a front line. This is going to be a messy fight in general. There's just going to be stuff everywhere. Let the vengeance begin, Let the vengeance begin by the way. It's just Black Art Corsairs back here. Hello. I wish you would stop existing, but I don't think you're just going to stop existing, are you? Try and pull my dudes back if I can. I was hoping to maintain some form of a front line, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Hey, by the way. Nice dragon. Oh, you're set to skirmish. You're trying to be killed by this thing, aren't you? Yes, you are, and he will very quickly kill you, so please run away. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Do what you can, I suppose. What are you guys doing? Stop that. What are you doing? Being horribly mauled. Alright. Not going particularly well. The problem is he's way over here by himself. Against what appears to be two lords. He's gonna break soon, which is bad. Where are my allies at? My allies appear to have been decimated. Alright. This is not particularly good. The enemy lord is dead. Alright. Um, we appear to be incapable of retreat. This is problematic. We've lost this fight. The only catapults are under attack. Yeah, they are. Oh well. Your warriors are rallying. I'd like you to retreat, but I don't have the option to retreat. It's unfortunate. We're about to, yeah, mass mass route anyway, so. There we go. A valiant defeat. Insert typing on Discord. Are we going to lose this army entirely because of this? I don't know. They took good losses though in the south. And this army needed to be remade anyway. Although this wasn't the manner I intended to remake it, but hey. It still works, I guess. Wish the load times were slightly faster. Wish everything involving this campaign right now was slightly faster. We're working on it though. I just want to see the, uh, the the screen after this to see what happens on the the campaign map here. Because we still have a army down here. Assuming this one dies, we still have another one, which is a full stack. Not a great full stack, but. Full stack nonetheless. I like that. 0.8 FPS. Oh, 0 0.6. Here we go, boys. This is the future of gaming. A silky smooth 0 0.6 FPS. It's actually going lower, too. Despite updating the frame rate, it's still going lower. Alright, game, whatever. It's a serious load screen, apparently. I think we would have been okay if Tyrion hadn't charged his cavalry in there. 
Yeah, we're we're gone. There goes all of us. They lost a reasonable amount, but they still have a lot of units. There's my other army. Oh, there's another Loremaster army here too. Interesting. I don't think the Loremasters have had their turn. Oh, well, apparently Nagaron's not done murdering us yet. Why is this just me and nobody else? I'm pretty sure we can't win this fight. No matter how much I'd want to. What do we have? We have flame cannons. Flame cannons and organ guns would do quite a number, but... Just max rank war hydras. Hmm. I don't think there's anything I could do here to actually possibly win this, so we're just gonna auto it. Which means we've lost both of our southern armies. This is obviously unfortunate, but... We'll have to see what happens. We have a lot of armies in the north. That's actually where my entire military, most of my entire military is. You can sort of see them stacking up up there. The south, however, is lost. This is unfortunate. Anyway, back to slowly passing turns. Well, we're back already. This is actually the same turn as the last battle. This was an ambush battle uh, down in the south against this guy. I forgot which faction this is, but one of the rebel factions. So he has a bunch of Gorbis chariots. He is chaos. Interesting looking units that aren't actually attached to the cart, but details. Uh, and he has a bunch of cavalry, and this appears to be his entire military force. He just has cat nice nice little pile of back here. He just has cavalry and chariots. Uh, we do have a bunch of slayers in this army. This is actually my slayer-based army. But we also have some hammers, some iron breakers. This is a hodgepodge of stuff in here. Some iron drakes, which might be useful. And some rangers and some miscellaneous stuff and a bunch of artillery. Uh, what we want to do is preferably fight inside this forest, if possible, but we also want to bomb rush them as quickly as we can, so... We're gonna take... probably my slayers around here. This is gonna be real messy on, like, all fronts. And the rest of you guys and my lord... are gonna sort of park here for now. Put them in a, in a little group real quick so we can formation lock them. I swear there's a way to, to advance them. Is it alt? Alt, there we go, I found it. Can I rotate them? No. If I control click, no. So alt lets me move the formation like this, but I can't rotate it, I think. Maybe I can, I don't know. Anyway, we'll put them roughly like this. And we'll break them out of that lock formation because I don't actually care. You guys are going to park your butts right here. Ish. I want them opening fire basically instantly and seeing what they can do. These guys have slightly... What are you? Rangers with great weapons. Close quarter infantry. Oh, I thought you were a missile unit. Oops. I do have a special weapon, so I'll just leave them there for now. We're going to have to adjust our dudes, like, a lot anyway, so. I don't want to go too far back, because they're entirely cavalry, so if we go too far back, we're just going to get wrecked by flanking units, so we could be careful about that. I think that's all of our units. No, it's not. Who are you? Ah, you are you. You have such a short range, my god. They're anti-large, and I think these guys count as large. They're apparent, all of these units are apparently a low threat to this guy. What about these? Low threats. I think everything should be low threat. Yeah. They're still fresh, though. Alright. 
Start battle. Immediately tell slayers to char start charging in. This is going to be a really messy charge, but that's sort of the intent with ambush fights. We'll have to see what we can manage here. So these guys should start shooting like instantly, except you. We're probably going to leave these guys sort of reserved for now, see what we can get out of this. Slayer's purpose is anti-cavalry. We do have a small period where we get free shots on them, because this is the period where they're viewing that cutscene or whatever. Before they can react. So we're about to get shabumped. The giant clash of slayers and cavalry over here. It's not going to look pretty. By any stretch of the imagination, to say the least. Despite the fact that this is an ambush, it's actually a pretty even fight, so... Still very likely that we can lose this. And if I'm good at anything, it's losing ma losing fights, sorry. I'll do the flamethrower infantry. Um... You guys can sort of skirmish at will, I suppose, for now. What are you doing? Probably charging my artillery. My slayers appear to have been horribly mauled in this amb- this- oh, those are shock cavalry. That would explain why they got horribly mauled. Alright, so far going poorly. Turns out the uh, army full of shock cavalry is really good at charging units. He's going to charge my artillery, unfortunately. For the high king. Don't skirmish. You guys could do something like that. You guys could not skirmish. You guys could also not skirmish. I don't know what you're doing, but you'll figure it out. The unit has been wiped out, I know. Just stops. Everyone stops skirmishing. We can't really do much here about anything that's going off, so just shoot if you can. You'll figure it out. I don't know how good against cavalry he is. It is just shot cavalry, so one, the, apart from that initial charge bonus, they're not too great, but still. Who are you? Your organ gun. Are you shooting? No, you just kind of stood there. I don't know if you can shoot, all things considered, but you could try. Plus, we're in a forest. This is what I want. Cavalry is much worse in a forest, but, you know. That don't mean we'll win. Withdraw! Alright. Wish I could see what was happening. Where are my flamethrower dudes at? Hey there. Are you guys shooting? I think they're trying to. They shoot very slowly, so... And now they're in melee combat anyway. Let's see what's happening. People getting charged every which way. Yeah, this is probably a loss. I don't really know what I was planning here, to be honest. Slayers are about the only anti-infantry that, or anti-cavalry that dwarves have, and his entire army is cavalry. Unfortunately, the shock variety, which is very good against, um, I don't even know what's going off over here. Shock cavalry is very good at charging, which is what slayers are supposed to deal with. So this is 100% a loss at some point here. It will cost him some of his army, but it will cost my entire army. This is the one way down in the south in the Lizardmen territory, if you're curious. We're just going to fast forward and let it go. Continue popping buffs on this guy, see what he can do. Oh, there you go. He'll break, apparently. A decisive defeat. What is this? I have a message. This is a message on Discord. 
This is this is what happens when I'm recording, by the way, this game. It's mostly because there's so many gaps. I just have conversations on Discord. Don't mind me. And it probably cut the recording off again. Who knows? I suppose we don't really need to, if it even is still recording, I don't know. I was going to say we don't need to see the end of this because this is a decisive defeat. He didn't lose anything at all. And he'll probably kill this army at some point, but there's another army I wanted to remake at some point. I guess I could just get rid of the army instead of suiciding it like that, but hey. Anyway, here's an update on the world whenever this finishes. There we go. North is going well, because there's nothing up there to stop them. All of Nagaron's military is in this area. So this is going to be my duty to distract them, basically, while uh, this happens. Oh, there's a, oh, that's a Dwarven army. Oh, there's a Nagarond army, but that's a Dwarven army. They're just going to march through there and take everything, basically. Um, in the south, this is the uh, fight we just did. So this is what's going on in the south. I'm, I had an army set to ambush there. Hopefully to kill their army it didn't work out so that the lizard men could continue taking stuff, but that's okay. Anyway, got to do something about this. Short -sighted. Unfortunately, the Time lore masters didn't help. help me. They weren't on land to help me. That must have been what's going on there. Is this Tyrion? No, it's Teclis, I guess. I don't know who Teclis is, but he's got some cool stuff. Anyway, I'll be back when something happens. Alrighty, quick little update here. Pardon any baking noises you hear in the background. Uh, this will be a short one anyway. The North is actually being killed by a war herd, but it doesn't matter. Beastmen, war horde thing, whatever. I don't actually know what they're called, but... It doesn't matter. All we actually need over here is this. And this is relatively well garrisoned. It's not the greatest garrison, but it's probably enough to hold itself. There is an, an army there. There's armies scattered everywhere. Just dwarven stuff all over the place. They exploded like a plague once chaos was dealt with. Um, so they're slowly sweeping through, killing all sorts of stuff over here. There's really nothing stopping them because there's no armies over here. Nagarod actually had zero military up here, which is kind of surprising. Um, but they're slowly moving their way down. We need Hexodle over here. I have set Hexodle as... Everything looks so weird because it's all different shape. Strange. Um... I've set Hexodile as a war goal for basically everybody, but I don't think everyone uh, actually started to move on it, so I don't really know how that's going to work. I gave uh, the Lore Masters some money and I gave the Lizardmen some money to help them out in the south. Basically just waiting, uh, because we need to remake the military and we're going to have to do it via global recruitment, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. We had to do it via global recruitment, which means it's going to take a while to rebuild these armies because, as you can see, double turn recruit time takes a while. So, hopefully, we can begin moving now. If we can crush Nagaron's armies here, they will probably end up rebuilding it. Uh, some probably down here, maybe, or on the Black Coast or something like that. I'm not exactly sure where they have any sort of military construction capability because they lost Nagaron, which is their big one uh, because they have that like plus three experience to Blackguard of Nagarond over there. Hexodil is another big province, but I don't know if they have any military buildings there. But anyway, that's basically what's happening. Nagaron's entire military presence is still on this island, uh, apart from a few strays that are floating around the island, which I guess counts, so. They're scooting around, not doing anything, but they are scooting around constantly, so I have to keep an eye on them, but basically just trying to rebuild my military. I have a full stack here, 
which is making its way on, and we're going to continue trying to come down from the north, because I think that's going to give us a little bit easier time dealing with Nagarond right now, is just come down from the north. Uh, but we also have this army here, which I should be moving underground, I think. Maybe not. But I'm also lazy, so and you can't queue up move orders with the underway and stuff like that. So I've just got an enforced march on his way over. He'll make his way up here. We have a bajillion income and a bajillion in our treasury for some reason, not entirely sure why. Our income just skyrocketed, so making lots of money. Uh, I'll probably actually start recruiting another army here. In fact, I'll do that now. Let's go ahead and just, I don't really care what I'm recruiting at this point. We just need numbers. If you say so, so you guys can see the recruitment that I've been doing is basically this. It's not great. But it, it's probably good enough. That's basically what I've been doing. No uh, special units because they're a little bit cumbersome to deal with when I really just want numbers more than anything else. So. But anyway, I have other provinces I can recruit dudes from. Uh, but they're primarily set up for other wars, like these provinces over here for the chaos. And I think uh, somewhere down here, maybe this province I could also recruit from. But most of my other stuff is not set up for recruitment right now. So unfortunately, I can't do any real recruitment out here on the front. But I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'll see about setting up uh, probably this place. We'll end up destroying like the trinket makers and stuff like that and see about setting this place up for recruitment because it would be a convenient location. Give a good opening for the, the sea here and other things. But anyway, that's basically all that's going on.